Yo, Elliot, I'm looking to quit smoking nicotine and weed. I've smoked weed since I was 14. I'm now 22. I know that it's one of the main blocks in my road. So I'm going to make a challenge to you and I'm going to help you formulate this challenge, right? Because men do well with challenges, right? We don't always do so well when someone tells us what to do, right? We were having this conversation with one of the coaches that I've been working with. He's like, you tell the boys what to do, they don't want to do it. So you got to give them challenges. You got to say, you can't do it. And then they want to do it. And he's right. Young men, boys, even me, I know, I know. If somebody tell me what to do or, uh, you know, try to lay it, lay it out for me, I'm like, no. Nah. But if someone's like, hey, try this out, I don't think you could do it, or I challenge you to do it, right? Maybe it, it, it's not that they don't think I could do it, and I think you can do it. But you got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere. Um, there's two... I'm going to let you choose. I'm going to let you choose. I'm going to give you two challenges, right? Choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. For a long time, I've, I've, I've heard and I've practiced the process of threes. Whenever you want to do something, you want to start a new habit, you want to break an old habit, you got to think in terms of threes. Three days. That's your first challenge, right? You want to stop smoking, you start doing weed. Don't think about anything else. Do not think about anything else. Think about three days. Three days. Can I make it three days? If you can make it three days, then you're ripe for the next phase. Three days, none of this stuff, right? Just focus on that only. That's, my, that's the first little, this is, this is baby steps into the challenge. Three days, right? You could do that, right? You can go three days without smoking. And listen, you can make those three days into, you know, a, a fasting period for you, or you can go somewhere, or you can, you know, make yourself busy with other things, but three days. Once you get to the end of three days, then you can either choose to go back or you can take it to the next level. The next level is three weeks. Ooh, are you ready for level two? Are you ready for level two, right? And then you say to yourself, okay, cool. I did three days, right? And maybe maybe you broke your fast, right? You smoked or something. All right, I did three days. Boom, I got that out. Monday, I'm going to start three weeks. You already passed level one, right? Now you're on level two. Level two is three weeks. Can you make it three weeks, right? Three days, Right now you're making it a week, two weeks, three weeks, three weeks. Once you've done three weeks, you are now primed. You are ready. You are now prepared for three months. And then you go three months, three months is 90 days. Most people, if you can sustain something for 90 days, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. So you ever heard that? The law of threes. This is something one of my clients taught me many, many, many years ago when he was having a hard time being committed to fitness. He said, I'm going to do the three day, the, the, the law of three challenge. Three days, I'm going to come three workouts. Then I'm going to come three weeks. And then I'm going to go three months, right? And the guy's been exercising ever since. So that's the, that's the way to ease your way into it. Now, um, that's helpful. I think that would be helpful. I think if you did that, that would be great, right? You just, you just, you work away into it. Or you can go cold turkey. And I have a challenge for you there too, because this is how I overcame my addiction, right? I guess we can call that, right? Anytime we're doing something that you say that you're not going to do, but you keep doing it anyway, is an addiction, in my opinion, right? And it doesn't matter what it is. You say, oh, I'm going to stop scrolling on my phone and you keep doing it. That's an addiction, bro. Anything that you say you're not going to do, but you can't make yourself not do it or vice versa, it means you got an addiction. It means that something else is in control and you're not, right? So I know I've been there. And what I discovered in the challenge, let me put it this way. The challenge I put on myself was the amount of years that you smoke, right? You take that and you turn it into months and you make that your goal. So you said from 14 to 22. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, right? Eight years. For eight years you've been smoking, that means in order to completely rid it from your system and to rid it from your mind and to be born again, you need eight months of cleanness, eight months of no smoking. Once you get to eight months, I'm convinced then you're, you're, you're totally saved. You're healed. You'll be all right, right? And if you're serious about quitting that, don't, that's my challenge to you. Either, take the, either do it step-by-step step with the three, the challenge of threes, or just do, go cold turkey. In previous videos, I've given all kinds of insight and advice as to how I overcome and overcame. And a big part of it was I had, to, I had to set my ego aside and realize that I can't do this on my own. And so I would also encourage you that while you're going through this challenge, 
to open your heart, open your mind and allow your soul to coalesce with God, right? Ask for help, right? Why not, right? If God, if they say God loves us and God says he loves us and he wants what's best for us, right? And he wants to see us in heaven. He wants us to, our souls to be saved and he gives us grace and there's mercy, but there's also ju justice and judgment. It means that if you ask him, hey, help me out. Like, you know, think, I think about God as a father, right? If one of my kids come to me and they say, hey, hey dad, I'm having a real hard time with something. Can you help me? I'm going to go help them, right? Whatever it is. Oh, you need help with the bike. You need help with your homework. Or it is. I want to help you because I want to see you succeed. Especially if you can't do it yourself because you're too small. And me, I recognize I was too small. I'm too small. I'm too small. My ego's big, but I was too weak. I was too weak to do it. And that's how I became Christian again. Because I was like, man, I'm at, a, I'm at my wit's end right here. And so I said, I'm not going to try to quit anymore. I'm not going to try to quit. I said that to God one day. I said, I'm not going to try to quit anymore. I said, tomorrow I'm going to smoke anyway, right? Please, I beg you, take this away from me. Just take it away from me. If, it, if it's not of you, Lord, take it away from me. And sometimes you take things away from you easy, or sometimes you take it away from you hard. But either way, you're going to take it away from you. You ask them to take it away from you. It's going to help you. So use, use either one of those challenges, but also combine it with prayer, right? And, you know, how, pray how you choose to pray, right? Do it your way. But the whole idea is recognize that you're not the Lord of your life. Recognize that you're not in charge and recognize that there is a, a benevolent being of intelligent design that wants to see you win. And if you believe that, that's a good, that's a resourceful thought and ask, ask God for your help, man. I think you're going to do all right. I think you're going to be great. I think it's going to be awesome. I think you're going to succeed, bro. So let me know how that goes. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.